Factoring trinomials. Identify possible integers k that allow each quadratic trinomial to be factored. So we got three examples. I will give you the strategy with the help of the first one and the rest two you should practice on your own, right? x squared plus kx plus 6. Now for this trinomial to be factored, what are we looking for? We are looking for two numbers whose product should be equal to 6 and whose sum should be equal to the value k. That is what we are looking for, right? So all the combinations whose product is 6, positive 6, should give us k value, right? So for example, 1 times 6 is 6. So 1 times 6 is 6, therefore k could be, add, add them up, 7, right? 2 times 3 is 6, 2 plus 3 is 5, like that, right? 3 times 3 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6 itself, right? So like this, you can get so many different numbers, right? You can even get negative numbers. Minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. And when you add them, you get minus 5. So like this, you can also get negative values for k, right? So that is how you should solve this type of question. Here, let me do one more, give you a hint at least. We'll follow the same method. So we are looking for product, but the product should be 3 times minus 4. So product of two numbers, p and q, has to be 3 times minus 4, that is minus 12. And their sum should be equal to minus k. So all those possible values will be the values for k. Now, we are looking for sum of minus 12. So when you multiply this, you get minus 12. So anything, so what we are looking for here, any two numbers which we can give us minus 12. So for example, plus 6 and minus 2, for example, right? So if I have plus 6 and minus 2, and if I add them, plus 6 and minus 2, I get plus 4. In that case, the k value will be negative of this, minus 4, right? So minus 4. If I would have taken this as minus and this as plus, in that case, adding them up will give me minus 4. Got it? So k could have been plus. So I could have k as plus or minus 4, right? So like this, we can have so many combinations. 4 times 3 itself is a good number to take, right? 4 times 3 is minus 12, one of them minus. If you add them up, you get plus 1. So we could have plus minus 1 also as the value of k. So like this, we can have so many different values for k. Well, i like you to explore and figure out more values for k for part b and c also. Thank you and all the best.